Okay, so say you've got a piece of data or some information on a Google spreadsheet and you want the same piece of data or information on another Google spreadsheet. So how do you get the two spreadsheets to talk to each other? And so that if you change one piece of data, it will automatically change it on the other spreadsheet. So for example, here I've got some learning outcomes on a medium term plan and I want to put exactly the same learning outcomes on the, on the long term plan. And I just want these two spreadsheets to talk to each other. So if I change this, it will automatically change the other one. I don't have to keep fat about copying and pasting so what you do is first of all i'm talking google sheets here so you need to make sure they're on google sheets and so they'll always talk to each other okay so i want to use this this bit of information here so this piece of information is in d2 and it's on this tab called space okay so what i do is i go up to share and i get the link the web link for this spreadsheet okay so i copy that link using the copy link button here Okay, I go to where I want to put this bit of data. So I want to put it into a long-term plan document. So here I want to put it in here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to use this formula here called import range. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of that bit there because that's for something else. Import range. And I copy in here, which you can see I've already done, but I copy in here the link that I've just done. So paste that in there. Then the next bit of data, so that link there, you can see it's in speech marks. Then there's a comma, then there's another speech mark. And then the next piece of data here is the tab that that is on. So this is space, because it was on that space tab. Then I've got an exclamation mark. Then it's D2, because that's the cell I want, okay? Then speech marks and close my brackets. Press return, and there it is. So say I wanted the next one down. The next one down would be D3. So D3, let me just change that formula. So it's still the same um, link, same link. I just want D3. And that gives me the second objective. So actually I want all five of those objectives on this one document here. So what I'm gonna do just copied and pasted this down here somewhere for me to use. So what I'm going to do, this is a little bit more complicated formula, but once you've got it set up, it's you just have to alter the same things. So what I've got here is concatenate, which means join together two bits of information, import range from the web, the web link that we've got of that spreadsheet. And then we've got here the comma. Okay, so the comma here. Then the tab here that we want it to be and D2. The next bit of information here is chart 10. That means I want it on another line, okay? Because that's just, I just want it fancy. I just want it the way I want it to look. And then import range again, followed by um, speech marks, the web link, the link of that shared um, document all the way there, or that uh, spreadsheet in speech marks, comma, open speech marks again, space, that tab, exclamation mark, and I want D3, speech marks and brackets. And I just have done that, written it out for all five of the objectives, and I get all five of the objectives here on separate lines, because that's how I like it, just a bit fancy. But if I just wanted one piece of information, just that one piece of information, it's just really simple, import range, speech marks, link, close speech marks, comma, open speech marks again, the tab name, exclamation mark, the cell that you want, speech marks, close brackets, job done.